Evening, guys. Mad Man Mandela coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Yeah, we're burning the midnight oil, you can say. All right. Anyway, Mr. Clinton Rembry. Okay. Clinton went ahead and he purchased a copy off the website from us. So here it is. He got a 500 gig RGH. All right. So this thing is fully loaded, ready to go. ACV3. Uh, it's a Trinity model. All right. Up and line servers. Along with lifetime purge menu. Okay. You got, uh, you got, uh, all post menus BO2 for BO2, MW3 and Ghosts, as well as GSC menus for BO2, which happen to be Jiggy and Sentinel for Zombies. All right. So anyway, she's all done, ready to go. So clenching, I'm gonna go ahead and boot this up. All right, and we're gonna see what we got here. Okay. Now, <clears throat> okay, please pay attention to the video as I am going to walk through this thing with you. I'm gonna show you exactly what it's got, what, where, how, and who. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get it unlocked for the first time, show you how to, how to unlock DLC and XBLA, and uh, all kinds of good stuff like that. So uh, just have, bear with me, and away we go. Now, it's going to boot up an F50 dash. There you are. Welcome to Alliance. We're going to get one more, and that's going to be from the Purge. And I'm going to sync up the controller here. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what you got on this thing, okay? Let's start off with, all right? So pretty much you don't have to go downloading a whole bunch of crap or anything. It's already set up and you're good to go. So here we go. Okay, under emulators, you got FCUX, which is a form of Nintendo Entertainment Center. Uh, and then, of course, you have Game Boy Advance. You got uh, Genesis Plus 360. You got MAME. And you got SNES. Okay, these are your emulators. They emulate all those consoles right there. There's over 7,000 ROMs between all of them. Have a blast. All right. Then, of course, we have our Xbox Classic games. Now, there's quite a few classic games on here that played on the original Xbox. Okay, they all work and everything. And there you go. All right, so if you want to go back to the original, original Xbox, the top 20 model back in 2002, well, there you have it. All right, now, homebrew section. Okay, we have uh, all the tools that reside here that you can build the console up with. There's a couple of them here, like Flash 360, and uh, there's one here, Simple Man Flasher. Okay, if you don't know what you're doing, stay away from that. Okay, all right, if you have any questions, look them up on YouTube, okay, or hit me up, and I will be more than happy to explain them to you. Because what that does is it writes the NAND, so if we ever get a dashboard update, that's those are the tools that you use to dump the NAND, and then write the NAND back once you have the new patched uh, XE build, all right? So, anyway, there's all your tools right there. And, of course, we have Xbox Live Arcade, and we read mind-boggling amount of arcade games, and I mean, there is a load on there, as you can see, okay, there is a bunch, all right? And then, of course, we have our Xbox 360 games, okay? All the ones that we all know, love, and play, and have played for many, many, many years, okay? Uh, there's multi-disc ones. There's all kinds, as you can see. Uh, pretty much you're, you're, pretty much it's loaded. You still have about 66 gigs left, so you can put whatever you want on here as well, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? It's your RGH. Have a blast with it, all right? Now, <clears throat> to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section right here. The original dashboard right here, just click on that, click on that. All right, and then what will happen is the squirrel will pop up. There you are. You only have 30 reserve days left. Got it. Good. Okay, that's on our server. We'll bypass the sign in. And you will see that it's up. It's online. It's live. KV is good. We'll hit the guide button over here towards the right here. In the fifth tab, we have our uh, ghost sheets. We have our ghost sheets. We have two sheets and Modern Warfare 3 sheets. Okay, to disable them, hit A. To enable them, hit A. Now, they already come enabled when you start the uh, console up, so, you know, you don't have to worry about enabling them. But if you need to disable one of them, you can, okay? You do it right at the guide right here, all right? Now, what we'll do is we'll bring this back to uh, FSD by going to Xbox Home. Hey, Mikhail, how are you, man? Good to see you, brother. Yeah, I'm burning a little bit of midnight oil a little bit here. Okay, I've been in between building stuff and everything. Please, I got, <laughs> I got people sending me a couple PCs in now that i got to fix because uh, this one poor woman... She went to Best Buy. They screwed her PC all up and everything. And now she's sending it to me. She's like, Tony, I've known you since 2014. Okay, the one that I really trust. <laughs> they told me all kinds of crazy stuff. And I don't understand it. I was like, where did you go? And they're like, Best Buy. I was like, oh, that explains it. Never mind. Okay, fine. So, <laughs> it was running when she brought it in. And it stopped running when she took it out of there. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway. <laughs> Best Buy, yeah. I'm going to go there and buy right away, yeah. Get charged overpriced stuff and, you know, and walk out getting screwed. Love it. All right, so anyway, sorry, Clenchin, just, you know, uh, I'm on a live stream here and my friends pop in and out and they say hi and all that, so, you know, I talk to them. I'm not talking to myself, I promise. Although I do that. All right, 
So anyway, uh, look, we're back through the FSD. All right, now what I'm going to show you here is we have multiple dashboards on this thing. All right, I put them on there because some people like uh, Aurora, some people like FX Menu, some people like XEX Menu, some people like FSD. So what I did was I put them all on there. So it's at your choosing, okay? This thing is already loaded up. You ain't got to download and install nothing. It's already done. So we'll go over here to the homebrew section, okay? And what we'll do is just, uh, we'll go to Dash Launch right here, okay? We'll click on Dash Launch. We'll go to Pass. All right, as you can see in Pass, okay, the default, what it boots up into, Freestyle Dash, okay? Button B, if you press it, you'll get FX Menu. Button Y, if you press it while you're booting up, you'll get, uh, you'll get the regular stock dashboard. If you hold down the left bumper while it's booting up, well, you get Aurora, okay? Now, if you want to change the default that, so let's say Aurora. It's really easy, okay? I don't know if you ever use Dash Launch or not, but it's pretty simple, okay? Just highlight it, hit A, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to back out to the root folder here, which is the double dot folder. So you're going to hit A at that. And you will see that the hard drive is set up nice and neatly. Everything is in place, so you don't have to go crazy, okay? It's pretty much self-explanatory. So you go down to the Aurora folder right here. Then you go to the Aurora Executable, which happens to be an Aurora XEX. Click on it. Hit A. All right. Then what you're going to do? You're going to hit RB, which is your shoulder button, your right shoulder button. Okay. Then you're going to bring it down HDD. You're going to hit X to save it. You're going to hit B to back out. And what's going to happen is going to save the launch hitting file. And that's the file that starts this thing up, uh, you know, when, when it first starts up. And now you can see that you're running Aurora. Okay. Aurora is already set up. You don't have to worry about downloading titles and all that crap. I hate when it does that, though. Wait a minute. It's already... I know, what it, I know what did it. Wait a minute. Hang on here. Yeah, here you go. You know, see that's a multi-game? So you only need one. You don't need to have all three up there. You see? That's why. If you notice now, you know, there you go. Okay? So anyway, all right, look. With Aurora, Aurora is, is basically the uh, the afterbirth of uh, FSD. FSD was forerunner for this thing. All right? And then they made the database a little better. They added some stuff to it. And it came out really, really good. All right, a lot of people like this dashboard. So, you know, I mean, all that, all, all that said and done, you know, if you want it, here it is. It's already done, okay? Now, look, if you press the back button, it's going to give you your file manager, just like FSD, okay? We'll back out of there. You have scripts. Now, that's something that FSD doesn't offer, okay? There's your Aurora repo browser where you can download stuff for this dashboard, you know? I mean, it's got, it's got all that stuff. And then, of course, you have uh, restart, reboot, and shutdown. And then if you go to the start button, okay? You have, you have your business end, which is your assets, where you can download, you know, you download and import your icons, your box art, your banners, all that crap. Here's your profile, content, modules, language, security, and about. Okay? Now, <clears throat> hit the B button, that's your view. Now that you can set filters, you know, filters and sort, quick view, you know, for all your icons and everything. There's all kinds of good stuff. Your theme, whatever theme you want, you know, you can download themes for it, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. Skin, you know, you can download skins for it. There's all kinds of good stuff there, too. And then, of course, the display and how you can display Letterbox 4.3, you know, all that crap, okay? All that stuff is there, all right? So, back out of there, all right? Now, look. All right. Now, if you hit the, if you hit the right shoulder button, okay, it's going to bring up a context menu, which is right here. As you can see, we're in the Xbox 360 folder, all right? We're going to use the D-pad right to move over. There's your Xbox Live Arcade, all right? Then we're going to... Use the right shoulder button again, D-pad over, there's your emulators right there, okay, and there's all your emulators. And then, of course, you have your classic games, your homebrew section, your indie games, it separates the indie from the arcade, which is cool. And then, of course, you have show all, which shows everything that's on the hard drive, okay? So, you know, I mean, there it is, and, you know, like I said, if you like this dashboard, use it, okay? Anyway, we're going to set this back to the default where it goes out on with, with FSD on, okay? All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit RB. We'll bring it over to Homebrew. And like I said, this is very tunable. You set it up any which way you want, okay? You just don't have to download a little cover art and all that crap. It's already done for you. All right, so anyway, we'll go into Dash Launch here. Then we'll go back to Paths. We're going to set the default path. We're going to hit A at the double dot folder and bring it out to the root directory. Then we're going to go to the freestyle directory. And then we're going to go to the default.xex, which is the executable for freestyle. We'll click on that. Good. We'll hit RB. Bring it down to HDD. X to save it. Beat back out. There you are. Yeah, yeah Mikhail. Yeah, I, I was shocked too when she messaged me. And I, I was just like, I was just like, oh my God. And they were saying that, it's gonna, that, that, that she needs some kind of special parts for it and everything. And it'll come out to like six or seven hundred dollars. And I'm just like going like, 
I was like, what's it doing? And she, and she told me, she's like, well, it gives me three long beats when it starts up. I was like, that's, that's a memory problem. Okay, either it's not seated, or it's the wrong style memory, or you mix non-ECC and ECC memory. So, you know, I'm like going, I'm like, just send it to me. Just send it to me. I'll fix it. Okay, I'll fix it. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Ah, yeah. So, anyway. Okay, sorry about that, country. Okay. So, listen. All right, now, look. Okay, we're back in FSP. All right, now, what I'm going to do here, okay, is I'm going to demonstrate some off hosts and some cheats for you that's already on here, okay? Now, you can put as many cheats as you want on this thing. You can get cheats for whatever game that you want. You know, you have to, of course, go to YouTube or Google or whatever. And the game that you have, you know, you look for mod menus or whatever. And you put it on there. But this comes with a compliment. You have Lifetime on our Purge. And then, of course, you have our off posts. And you have Giggy and Central, okay? What I'll do is I'll demonstrate the BO2 first. Because that, that, will, that will demonstrate all the menus across the line. Because our off hosts, uh, which are on our server... Uh, for uh, MW3 and Ghost are the same that they are for BO2. So all the same rules apply to that off host, okay, for those games. Alright, so I use BO2 for that because the other menus don't have GSC menus. This one does. BO2 does. So we've got, we've got two GSC menus on there, which is, like I said, GD and uh, Sentinel. Alright, so uh, we'll make it real simple. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in first. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I'll go to Xbox 360 games. All right, and then what I'm going to do here, all right, is I'm going to go here, okay? I'm going go on over to Black Ops 2, all right, I'm going to click on that. Now, that's going to start up, all right? There's no special way to start it. You don't have to start it in any special way on my server or anything. It just starts right from the dashboard. Hey, okay, no big deal. As you can see, Black Ops 2 is bypassed, okay? I'm going to start up with the title screen. Here we go. All right, now, here's what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah, we know he's dead. Okay. All right. Now, what we'll do is, is we'll go ahead and we'll press start. And then we'll go to multiplayer. Okay. As soon as it gets done with this crap. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, Jesus. Hold on. Let me do this here. Okay, the next thing. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, okay. And we'll fan that out. There you go, okay, yes, I want to grab the content. Okay, now we'll go to multiplayer, all right? Now what's going to happen is you're going to see by, uh, Black Ops 2 cheats by, uh, Black Ops 2 bypass, Black Ops 2 cheats loaded, life is grand, we'll do a local game, because this is just a local, this is just a local uh, profile. It's not on live, okay, it's not on Xbox Live profile. All right, so we'll set up the bots, we're going to have nine of them, we'll start the match. Okay, D-pad left to open the off post. X to select you to back out, you probably left to close it, okay? For Jiggy, you're gonna hold in on the left trigger, push down on the right thumbstick, you're gonna hit A to select, X to back out, alright? Now, here we go. We're gonna grab a gun, left trigger, right thumbstick, push down, we're gonna go to main mod, we're gonna do a uh, quick mod, that way I don't have to sit there like an idiot, okay? X, and then we'll go down to uh, bullets, and we'll select some bullets here, okay? We'll do, uh, let's see here, we'll do swarms. Yeah, we'll do swarms, we'll do grenades, no, grenade bullets, on, uh, I want that on, uh, okay? Oh, uh, let's see here, we'll do explosive bullets, yeah, and then we'll do dog bullets, just like bullets, okay? Now, we'll back out of there, then we'll back out of there, we'll turn the off post on by hitting D-pad left. Now, we'll hit X to select, we'll grab all the bullets, crap, right here, okay? Now, we'll back out, we'll go to aimbot, we'll turn that on, we'll do on screen, and we'll do that right there, and then ESP menu, X. You know, you just, just play with it. You can, you can set the settings wherever you want. Okay? And then we'll use snap line. And then we'll hit D-pad left to close it. We'll go out here. When the snap line turns blue, guess what? Let them have it. Okay? And then we'll fly through the air with Jiggy. Okay? Oh, look. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, behind you. There you go. Alright? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take a nose dive up and down. Okay. Now we'll blow all these people up right here. Now, if you want to be a real dick, okay? Open your shop. Go to aimbot. Go to unfair aimbot. Yeah. Now, I choose some schools and everything, okay? See, and I win. Hooray for me. So, if you want to piss off a lobby, that's a good way to do it. X and X to back out. Alright? There you go. Alright? So, anyway, there's your off post. Okay? That never gets old. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. Alright, as you can see, hooray for me. 
Alright. Now, if you see any zombies here, I'm going to show you zombies right here. Alright. Now what we'll do is we'll back out of here. I guess we're going to leave the lobby. And we're going to back out of here and we're going to go right to zombies, okay? Now, zombies is a little bit different of an animal here. Zombies, you push down you know, on, the left, uh, on the thumbstick and you hold it, you hold in the trigger, push down the right thumbstick, alright? And uh, then what will happen is, is uh, you'll see the menu pop up, use X to select, but to back out of it, you gotta hold in the left trigger, push down the right thumbstick, okay? Don't ask me why I didn't program the damn thing, okay? So anyway, we'll have this uh, come into view here, okay? Yep, we'll do that, okay, good. And we'll go to transit. No, I don't want to do three. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, good. Original, good. Start the match. Here we go. Okay. Yep, there we go. A little bit of the green run tonight. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Now, hold in left trigger, push down right thumbstick. Here's the menu. X to select God mode. Input in ammo. Run the sprint, double speed, no clip. Okay. Should take no time Top of the aim box. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now, I'm holding my trigger, push down my thumbstick, then we'll go to weapons menu. Okay. And uh, we'll grab a gun here. Okay. Anyone will do. Yeah, we'll do the MP5. Yeah, that'll work. Go back up to uh, weapons options. X to select. Yeah, go to bullets menu. We'll do Mustang and Sally because that works real good. So, yeah, as you can see, it works really, really good. Okay? Yeah, hold on my trigger, put down my thumbstick, okay? Yep, there we go. Oh, so now the door. No, no, no. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in, okay? Then, uh, you know, there's all kinds of crazy stuff on here. You got, uh, let's see here, you can add zombies to it if you want. By hitting X, you can spawn some zombies. And here they come. And you can blow the face off, but they can kill all the zombies. So on and so forth, okay? Yeah. Oh my god, shut up, will you please? Alright, and then of course, power-ups menu. Let's see here. Shoot the power. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, will you? Holy shit, don't listen to that crap. Alright. Then you can shoot power ups and you put them all over the place, you know, and you can grab all of them. Or whatever. Let's see, did I do that? Yeah, enable. There we go. Right. See? There's my power up right there, see? See? There you go, kill them all. Haha. <laughs> okay? And, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can tell us all over the place, you know, wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do, you know, so on and so forth. Um, yeah. I'm going to do, uh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Sounds like my ex-wife. Um, anyway, okay. So, uh, you know, map mods, you know, so on and so forth, uh, you know. Proper study can always yield a good test score. Yes, it does. Yes, it can. I mean, so you, you know, you turn on your menu, whatever you want to do, man. You know, I mean, explore the menu, you'll have a blast with it, okay? Now, okay, yeah. we'll get out of there, we'll get out of there. Excuse me for a moment. Leave me alone, okay? Yeah. So anyway, alright. So now we'll get out of there. Home, yes, okay? Now, that'll take us on out of there. Okay? I will demonstrate one more thing, um, let's see here now, as far as the purge menu is concerned, okay, uh, purge has been around for a long, long time, alright, uh, it's a really good solid rock solid, rock, rock solid, uh, menu, okay, it does everything that you need it to do, um, and, uh, 4.0 is coming out very shortly, thank God, because I've been testing that with the developer himself, so it's been pretty cool, alright, so anyway, uh, you know, go to Grand Theft Auto and you click on it, alright? And what will happen is a text box will pop up, okay? At any given time. Just tag loose, just wait for it. It will happen, okay? It will pop up again. You can select the control for the menu. Okay, you can set up the menu combo. Open menu with D-pad left X. So open menu with right D-pad X, okay? So anyway, we'll open the menu up, okay? With D-pad left and X, okay? Now, it's going to go ahead and it's going to load. Now, I'm not sure if there's game save on this one or not. Okay, I'm not sure. Because this, whatever it is. I mean, if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. Ain't no big deal. Alright, I'll still be able to show you a couple things with the menu and everything else. Alright, just so you can see that, you know, it's good to go and everything's fine. Alright? Uh, she's loading up right now. Just give it a couple of minutes and we'll be good to go. Or give it a minute or so, I should say. Don't take that long, thank God. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, is once this loads up and everything, I'm going to show you... Uh, 
how to start this up uh, on your network for the first time, as well as uh, you know, as well as uh, unlocking some downloadable content and um, also you know XBLA and all that. Yeah, this one doesn't have a game save on it, so we're kind of we're kind of right there, but it's okay though. We'll just get on with this. Yeah, do that like an X and let's see. There's the menu. Let's start. Yeah. And like I said, you can turn all this crap on right here. Okay. Back out of there, quick options, yeah. You know, all that kind of good stuff right there. Weapons options. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do the tank gun with the hell. Okay, so might go have some fun. And then, of course, you know, it's not fun being alone. See, so, and especially with a bunch of swinging dicks. So, what do you want to do? You want to add some swinging boobs to it. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, look, she's ready. She's ready. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Mm, they're all ready. Yes. So anyway, oh, shut up. So anyway, I mean, as you can see, you know, I mean, you got all kinds of good stuff on here and everything else. So, you know, I mean, pretty much, you know, there's all kinds come of good on, stuff here. Come on. Uh, you can, uh, let's see here. Here, here we go. Here we go. Let's go here. Yeah. You know what I'm doing? Yeah. We'll put that. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Get in. <laughs> let's go for a ride. Wee! Okay, so anyway, yeah. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff on that, alright? You know? I mean, just the tip of the iceberg. Just, just, just my way of showing you stupidly how to use this menu. Okay, so anyway. Now, let's get a boot back to the FSD dash, alright? Then what I'm going to do here, alright, is I'm going to show you how to get it online for the first time, because that's going to be kind of rather important, okay? So, bear with me here, alright? And I'm going to show you what you do when you get this thing when you get this thing home, okay? Which should be, should reach in about two days, okay? So, now, this is very important, so please pay attention to this, all right? All kidding aside, if you don't, you're going to be ripping your hair out trying to get it online, all right? So, let's, let's, let's forego that, and let's do, just do like I'm telling you to do, all right? Look, when you first get it, don't just power it on or anything like that. What I want you to do is I want you to plug it all in and everything, plug in your, uh, for HDMI and all that crap. And what I want you to do, I want you to pull a hard drive out. Okay, I want you to leave that right there. Then what I want you to do is, once you have it plugged in and everything, power the console on. Okay? And then get your controller ready. Sync your controller to the console, okay? Now, when the console is going to boot, okay, which it just did. And we're going to come to the regular Xbox 360 dashboard. Okay? Now, once we make it to this dashboard here, okay, we're going to do... We're going to do uh, a couple things here, okay? We're going to go up, we're going to go over, we're going to go to settings, we're going to go to system, and then we're going to go to network settings, okay? Then what are we going to do? Okay, you're going to see your Wi-Fi pop up over here, okay? Now, all right, once it pops up, what I want you to do is I want you to click on it and put your password in. When you do that, it's going to automatically test the Xbox Live connection like this. You're going to get a check mark and two red X's or two check marks and a red X. doesn't matter what the latter two are, okay? What matters is is this one right there, okay? As long as your Xbox can reach your router, you can get to this mess here, which is cool, all right? But if you have a red X there, you better check your router, and you better make sure that it's allowing the Xbox on your local area network. No connection to the local area network, no connection to the Internet, no connection to Xbox Live. So you got to have this here before you can get to there and before you can get to there, okay? So in plain English, you should have a check mark or two check marks, okay? One or the other. Doesn't matter, okay? This is the only one that matters right there. So, once you get that, what I want you to do is I want you to power the console off, okay? Then what I want you to do is once it powers off, stupid background downloads, okay? Grab hold of the hard drive, slip it in. Really easy. Look. Oh, boy, what does that, okay? Now, put the drive door back on. Just like that. Then the most important part of this is to pull this power cord, okay? Please leave this out. Leave it out for five minutes, okay? Uh, what we're doing is we're draining the capacitors on this thing. Because we want to clear the south bridge, we want to clear the TCP buffers, we want to clear all that crap. And the only way to do that is by pulling this cord for five minutes. The capacitors hold the charge. So therefore, you're going to have five volts in there for a little while. So this thing is going to retain the settings. So if you just like try to power it on, it's going to screw up the DNS. It's going to act like it's connected. It's not connected. You will sit there ripping your hair out. Leave this out. Five minutes. Okay? Now me, I'm going to plug it back in. Why? It's on my network already. So I don't have to worry about my credentials being screwed up or not. Although, that has bitten me in, bitten me in the ass before. 
Okay, and I sat there and I waited for this thing to come online and it didn't. So I had to, of course, pull it for five minutes and let it sit, you know, and then, it, then everything was fine, okay? But anyway, just so you know, leave it out five minutes, okay? Now, once you do that, what I want you to do is then I want you to boot the console, okay? After five minutes is up. Power on. Alright, get your controller ready. And when the system boots, what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead, take my monitor, has frizzed out once again on me. Yep. So just grab hold of the damn thing. Boop, there it goes. I don't like this grand. Okay, now, we're booting up. You will see this green stuff flashing. It's going to stop moving. Okay, when it stops moving, that's good because then it locked the server, which it just did. Now it's going to boot to FSD dash. You hear the fan speed kick up. You'll see FSD come up. You'll see your plugins coming across. So far, so good. All right, we have local area connection because now we're connecting to the server. So that's good. That means you're getting out there, okay? Now, what we have to do is we've got to make sure it's are online. All right, so we'll go over to the homebrew section. Just for ha-ha's sake, we'll go to Xbox 360 dashboard. Hit it. Hit it again. Okay, now, you should have a square that pops up just like that. Okay, if you get that square, that means she's live and she's hot. Okay, life is grand. Good. You're good to go. So hit select. Now, what you can do... All right, you can make a profile, okay, at xboxlive.com slash live. You know, make a profile using Outlook Express. I'm not Outlook Express, Outlook email, okay, use that for the credentials. Make the account and then download the profile. If you have an existing profile and you feel comfortable downloading it to, to an RGH and using it on there, be my guest, okay? I mean, I haven't had profile ban in God knows how long, but you know what? There's always a risk of it. So there's a risk of you losing the profile, okay? So just warning you, all right? I'm just being real with you. But, um, you know, either way, make a profile or download one, one or the other, okay? Once you click, once you hit out, hit, hit it, once you make it and whatever, go to download profile, download it. It should wind up coming out like this. You spin it around, screen should disappear. You should get the spinning circle of death. should be online. Profile should show up, waving at you, and life is grand, okay? Now, if it doesn't do that, and you're left here sitting here for 15 minutes, and this thing is still saying download it. Stop. Just stop. Don't do anything. What happened was, is when in the midst of downloading, it got corrupted. Okay? That's not the RGH. It's not the server. It's Microsoft themselves. They like to do that. Don't know why. They just do. Okay? Now, if that happens to you, there's a way to fix it. It's very easy. Okay? Just back out of where you're downloading it and come to the screen right here. Go up, go over, go to settings, go to system, click on system, go to storage, click on the hard drive, go to profiles, click on the profiles, okay? Underneath here, you will see the profile that you tried to download, but it will be corrupt. It will not be complete. So what you have to do is you have to D-pad down to it, hit A, and then delete it right off the hard drive. Just delete the profile, all right? Then back out of here, back out of here. Once you delete it, back out of here. Leave the hard drive highlighted. Hit Y for device options. Go to clear system cache. We're going to do it twice because Microsoft likes to be repetitive, okay? So we're going to do it once, and then we're going to do it again. So hit Y, clear system cache once again. Hit Y, good, okay? Yes? All right, then, get back out of here, back out of here. Up, over, down to social. Sign in, sign out. Download your profile, and then it will download and everything will be fine, okay? And once that happens, then, then all you got to do is once you download it, hit the guide button, go back to FSD, we're good to go. Now, before we turn you loose and you do all kinds of crazy stuff, just, we got to do something else now, okay? I'm going to start talking about XBLA and we talked about DLC, okay? Well, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here, okay? Look. All right, first thing I want you to do, I want you to go to Homebrew, okay? I want you to have your profile signed in. I want you to go to this program right here, XM360. I want you to click on it, okay? You're going to open it up. All right, now. Once the program opens, right now it's building a list of what's on the hard drive, okay? This is a list that's going to include all your XBLA and all your downloadable content, all right? Now, when you put downloadable content on this thing, let's say you go to a website or you go to a torrent file or whatever, and you download DLC or XBLA, all right? Well, you can put it on a console, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work. Because why? It's not unlocked to this console. It's not hashed properly. All right, so therefore, it's going to look at it and go, oh, yeah, you're there, but guess what? I'm not going to touch you. It's a security flaw, okay? You know, I mean, you know, that's just the way it is. That's a security. So, you have to get a tool like this 
which bypasses Microsoft security and unlocks it anyway, and then guess what? Then you can use it, okay? So whenever you can download DLC or XBLA, okay, let's say you download a new game, you put it on here, you go to run it, okay, and you got to download the files from, from, you know, from the marketplace or whatever. Well, if you download and downloadable content or whatever, or there's content that you have to pay for that you get for free from a torrent file or from a website or whatever, I'm not telling you to do this, but if it, if it is that way, okay, well then you come here and you unlock it, and then guess what? You get to use it, okay? So that's what we're going to do. So anyway, you will notice it's all unlocked here, okay? All the XBLA is unlocked, but we're going to simulate unlocking it anyway. We're going to go over, we're going to highlight unlock XBLA, we're going to hit A, Okay, zero files were unlocked because they're already unlocked, okay? Now, we're going to hit OK. All right? Now, we'll go down to show DLC, downloadable content. We're going to hit A. Okay? Now, we're going to go over, unlock DLC, hit A. It's going to find 20 or 10 files, whatever it is that's going to find you. Go, it unlocked 10 DLC files. So, there was 10 DLC files on here that you couldn't use. All right? But now you can because it's unlocked. Okay? Once that's done, go down to exit the dash. And then feel free to go wreak havoc and destruction upon everything and everybody that you come across. Or be a nice modder and actually uh, help some people out or whatever. Well, I mean, you know, it's all up to you and how you use it. It's powered. You can wield it. Okay, whatever you want to do with it. All right? So, now, okay, now that's done. Okay, I'm going to show you something else here. Okay, look. Under emulators. Okay? Now, real easy to start up an emulator. Okay? We we'll use Game Boy Advance just for haha -ha sake. All right, we'll hit it. We'll hit it again. Okay, you'll see it pop up. There you are. There's your games. Okay, using the trigger on the right side of the controller, you can go down page by page. The trigger opposite of that will bring you up page by page. D-pad down, D-pad up, game by game. Okay, A to play, B to back out. Pretty easy. All right. So we will exit that. All right. Now, like that. There's your emulators. Now. As far as classic games, you cannot play it with the server on. What I mean by that is you can't play it with this funny looking guide that's on here. Okay? You see that when you have that guide right there? You know, you know that fancy guide and everything? Well, that means that you're on the server. Okay? You're on the network, life is grand. Okay? Great and wonderful. However, though, if you go to try and play a classic game, okay, what's going to happen is, is if you try to play it, you're going to get a black screen because there's compatibility issue okay with with the files okay my my guy is, is hooked in the same place that probably the compatibility file is and it doesn't like that power pcs don't like that okay they like order okay they don't like having memory places called at the same time so how do we fix that it's easy okay you gotta run the system in bypass mode bypass mode is simply a mode where it disables all the plugins on um well not all of them it disables it disables plugins two through five, okay, on your launch inning. Because XBDM is always active, okay, and always XBDM is in plugin one. Never remove that plugin. Please don't ever remove that plugin. Just leave that plugin right there where it belongs, okay? But however, bypass mode, all it is is your bypass in the launch inning. That's all you're doing. Okay? So, how do we do that? It's very easy. This is what we do. We hit power, we hit eject. We leave the tray hanging out until it reaches FSD dash. Now the system booted, okay? All right, and yes, it's a very fast booter. The system runs real good and it boots up real good as you can see. There's no denying that because I multi-booted this thing multiple times right here, right in front of God and everybody else, okay? So anyway, there we are. It's booted up, okay? Now we can close the tray, okay? Now, we'll sync the controller up. We'll go on over. Xbox Classic Games. Now I'm going to show you something here with the guide. You'll notice that you have pretty much a normal guide now. Okay, it's a normal Xbox guide. Okay, because you bypassed the plugins. Alright? So now we can play the game. There you go. And there's a logo. There's that. And then you will see there you are. Need to speed most wanted. Blah, 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 blah. Alright? And then this bitch is going to come up telling you how to drive and wear a freaking seatbelt. And you know what i got to say to that? Hi, I'm Shut the fuck up! Alright, there you go. So anyway, there you are. Alright? And there's again. The now, to get out of the game, pretty easy. Hit the guide button, Xbox Home, boom, it'll bring it back to FFD Dash. So, clinching. Thank you for your business. Greatly appreciate it, brother. We're going to be shipping this thing off to you uh, tomorrow. 
Uh, we'll have a tracking number for you in your email that you purchased this thing with. All right, and it will be coming your way, so you will be able to track it and know when this bomb will make. I mean, this Xbox will make it to your house. Okay, don't mind the glitter. <laughs> Y'all have a good one, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging with me. Clinton, enjoy your console, okay? And I'll talk with you guys later. Take it easy. Have a good